Hello everybody. So, little detour today because I will have to do a lot of soldering to do anything to do with the wire project that we've got going and I've cleared out the map mat here and we're going to have to do a lot of soldering in the future and to prepare for it I have one of these and it's too big for the screen here but it's like a stand with lots of little arms that I can pose around with little clamps and it looks amazing and it works really well um, only problem is it comes with a ventilator or well it's more like a what's it called air fan there we go yeah fan comes with, with its own little USB fan. It works fairly well. I'd say it could probably do with a little bit more power, but that's fine. The only problem is they expect you to just clamp it on with one of these crocodile clamps, which, I mean, it seems fine, but it's going to slide all about and it's not really the strongest material to hold it in place. So instead, since they give you an extra arm, I thought we may be able to make use of the fact that there is a plug in here because all of these little crocodile clips are also just plugged on uh, right there. You just stick them in. And I was thinking maybe we could design something <clears throat> in 3D to basically just hold this in place, and I checked already. Um, this these holes it has are about three millimeters, which is a tad bit too big for the M3s. But I think M3s will still work, especially if we just screw them into the three D printed part and hold it in place with a nut. And that should work. So all we really need to do is design something that has a plug that can fit inside of here, which is, let's actually just check how big this is. It's about 6.1 millimeters. We'll probably go with something slightly larger and then I can just use sandpaper um, to make it work. And this was like 30 millimeters is just about, yeah. Symmetrical on all sides, yeah, of course. And it's like 10 millimeters wide. So that, oh come on, turn off. That should work and we're just going to go into Fusion 360 and design something for this. Just like a little holder and a frame to screw this onto so that we can actually get the smoke off the soldering because this is really just there to soak up or blow out all the soldering smoke that we get while we solder anything because that's not the best thing to breathe into so yeah let's just get right to it and here we are over at the pc now with fusion 360 open and there's a lot of things we can work on here but we'll just make a new file here and create a little sketch I should probably grab my calipers here and the uh, object that we're going to be working with. There we go. Everything on my desk now, all my palms here actually. There we go. Because there isn't enough space on my desk. So we want to start off with just a plug for the arm which I think we said was 6.1-ish, 6.5 I'm just measuring here. I think it, it it goes out the further and further we go here. Let's just try and make it like oversized and then we can slowly but surely sand it back down. It's, it's a round shape so we'll just go with a circle and it doesn't really matter what we give it right now. Let's just go with 6.5. It's probably going to be bigger or smaller than that anyway. So that's that, that's the plug. There's much we have to do with, like, there's much we have to do with just that yet. 
Um, but we'll just extend that down. So next, we'll just go ahead and make like a thin board, I'm thinking, that can fit around. So this is like 30 millimeters around the little fan. And we can oop, we can always center them after the fact. But for right now, let's just go with 30 by 30. So this is as tall as it is. Or actually, no, that's silly. We want to have it from the side. So that's like 10.5 apparently. Sorry about that. Let's just go with, like we want to have it on the side profile, but 30 appears still correct. And we can just push it like this and probably give it uh, what would be then 15 to have it be in the very middle. So half of 30 is 15, so that's now in the middle, and half of 10.5 is whatever 10.5 is divided by 2. Uh, that's 5.25, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice that you can actually like make additions and subtractions and multiplications, everything inside of here. But yeah, this is like the side profile right now of if the fan would lay on its side and it was connected like that. And let's give it... Uh, because we want to like frame it in. So I'm just looking right now how far in we can go, or how far in we're supposed to go. And it looks like about like five millimeters on either side. It's just about, so that's five millimeters, that's five millimeters. So let's go with something like this on either side here. This way we can just kind of frame it in. This can just be something silly like three mil. Sure, let's go ahead and say that's three millimeters. Um, and this should have, oh, I hate when that happens. Uh, this should of course also be damn it, just connected to it. God damn it. Fine, we'll just do it differently then. Uh, boop, 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 and boop. Now we'll just have to. Oh, come on. Pick the right things. Hey, well, I'm not picking the right objects. Okay, so it knows that that's supposed to be 90, but it should also be 90 over there. And then we obviously know what that size is, and this is just supposed to be three. Then we can do the exact same over here. It's basically a drawing, but you can always go back and adjust everything within your drawing as you see fit. Again, this is supposed to be three. At this point, the measurements can actually get in the way, I think. And now you can see better. Um, now, why is that there? Go away. That's the side profile. Now we want to have something for the sides and for the top, which I think we can do after the fact. So let's finish the sketch, and we now have this shape here. And we know that we want to have the little knob to hold on to. I don't actually know how deep we can go. Let's see, how deep can we go? Like 10 millimeters in? 10 or 12? It's apparently entirely hollow if I'm just looking at it right now. So let's go with like 10. Uh, minus 10. Doesn't really matter in which direction you start, but I just decided to start it that way. And then we can make this side plus the hole be. One millimeter? Let's say it should be like 1.5. Yep. So that's 1.5. And then we need to 
Actually, we should have probably picked the other two as well. So the nice thing about fusion is you can always go back and edit things. So there we go. And now we want to grab these. This should still be on join. So these should be a little over 30. So 30 point three or 33 actually because we want to have like 1.5 over here to hold on to then we want to have like a little edge like a clamp over here as well so 33 millimeters should work sure let's just go with that for right now at least and then we'll go in and sketch on this side which is obviously going to start being very weird. But let's just see how well this will work out for us. So now we just need to go like such and say that this is 1.5. And then we just drag this over for, let's say, does it really matter how far over we go? It doesn't really matter, right? It's just a box. Maybe the wires will matter, but I guess worst case, I'll just cut out a little piece of it. All right, I'm just looking right now at the wires. Actually, they fit down inside as well. Cool. It already has space within the fan. So the fan will just sit right in the middle of this box. And now we just need to figure out how we want to screw them together. So I think like this could very well just work as a friction fit. But I'm thinking of just adding like little knobs in the corners so that it can't just move out. I want to be able to screw it tight. So what we want to do is go on the bottom face of this. There we go, and do just a random box there and say, remember when I said we were about to do like five millimeters, how far in we can go? Let's say we can do six, like give it some space, give it some breathing room. In case it's too big, we can always change a few little things around and we'll just go for six and then we need to center, actually, Let's see actually if the hole is centered at all. If it's not, that's perhaps going to be iffy to do. Uh, six. And six. And there's commands to just copy and paste this over, but it's currently just faster for me to go over it like this. And that way you can follow along perhaps as well. I'm not doing a good job at the tutorial right now because this isn't meant as a tutorial, but it's. At least you can somehow follow along, I think. So these are just going to be little corners that the fan can sit on. So if I extrude these, we can make it all fancy later on. It's all like rough edge for right now. So if we extrude this like just one millimeter, let's say maybe 1.5. So now it has something to sit on. That way it really can't just fall through. But now, let's actually check whether or not the holes are really centered to it. Kinda looks like it is, honestly. Let's just do something hopeful. Like, let's just hope that it works. So we'll go into Edit Sketch. And then we go ahead and just make four circles somewhere. We can always recenter them. And have the middle point in this go like 1.5 because we are actually center of center of the box. So that should be like three millimeters. Right? I'm just thinking right now because it actually isn't just six millimeters. So maybe we need to go with Yeah, maybe we need to go with just looking at how this comes along here. So 
looks like we may have to go with like 2.5 ish. Oh, we can try it at least. If it doesn't work, like I'll probably print a couple of versions of these. It's probably not going to take a long time. This was just three millimeters. This was also just three millimeters. All of them are just three millimeter diameter. Now we can always go back and edit them as we need to after a couple of prints. For right now, this is guesswork, so let's go with 2.5, 2.5. Five and over here as well. And you can see it doesn't fit center to the box, but I think it should sit center to what the actual thing is. We just have this little overlay so that we can shrink it in as we see fit and to give the screw a little bit more to hold on to. Yeah, I think this should work. If we go over on this side and enable the sketch, uh, yep. We can now just select these holes and go on the side view to grab this arrow, pull that through, and it's already on cut, and it'll just cut right through those segments. Now we have holes in there for the screws. So now we can actually go in and just make it look a little bit better. So we just use a fillet here, fillet tools on all the corners. As well as the inside corners, I'm thinking, for these. Ah, uh, come on, let me select that. There we go. And you. Now we can just, you can now see what I meant with, we can just round them over with ease now. So let's go with like three millimeters. Three millimeters in for the rounded corners. It looks fairly decent. Sure. And we can round these in as well. Though I'm not actually sure. I'm not going to round the insides out because I'm not sure currently how round the fan is exactly before it doesn't fit. That would suck. Um, what else do we want to do? We will probably want to. Ah, uh, let's see. We might actually want to round this part out so that it can just like fit a little bit better give it a little chamfer so that it, we can plug it in without too many troubles and maybe even we can do this so that it has a little bit more grip now on the inside on the outside, we don't actually have to do too much. I think it's already fine how it is. We can round over this a little bit, maybe. Let's actually see how it looks like if we were to round over the top, at least, around the top corners. Okay, yeah, it's a little look too wonky. I'm not going to go for that. So this is basically how it will look like. And it's it's looking fine. The biggest worry I have, like all of this will probably work. The biggest worry I have is the holes maybe not fitting perfectly, but I guess we'll find out after I've printed it out, right? Yeah, sure. So let me quickly save this and hop over to, uh, let's just call this fan holder. There we go. So let me save this and Hop over to Cura for you to see how I'm going to copy print it out. Okay, so here we are over at Cura. You've seen this, I think, already, this view from when I did the video about the wire fly wires. So here it just sits on the table and it's already correctly rotated actually. Sometimes you just need to rotate them around or reposition them, but this looks fairly fine. Now we're going to have a couple of problems, which is going to be that this pin is free floating, which means that we'll need to add some support material. Let's see where we find that. So generate support. Oh, where did it go? There we go. 
spot those room everywhere. Just see how that's going to look like. Uh, also, let's see here. We don't need to have 100% info on these. So, in case I can find wherever the info is, there, info density, it doesn't need to be 100%. We added on 100% for, for those little uh, holders, but this read doesn't need it, so we can just set it down to 25%. Let's see. What the slicing does, and it's still really small, so yeah, we've still got the 0 0.05 setting, that's why it takes so long. But we can just take a look in the preview here, we can actually see that it built up a little support right there so that the knob can actually be built mid air. Um, otherwise, the details look very well. So maybe we can just... Okay, so... Sorry about that. Um, maybe we can just set it to 0 0.1 and re-slice this. Let's see how it looks then. So it only takes 48 minutes this way. It's, it takes a long time for this because of how tall I built it. Can probably save on some space later, later down the line. But for right now, it actually looks fairly decent. It looks like it's going to build just fine. And if we really want to like be lazy about this, we can always set this to be 0 0.2 and just see what works then. Then it's only taking 24 minutes, but we lose a lot of the detail we had. I'm thinking of probably just going to print. I'll probably just print at 0, at 0 0.2 for the start. And if it works, if everything's fine, if the settings work, and if this plugs in fine, if the holes are fine, then I'll probably just print it out in a higher detail and a, or higher resolution. So, yeah, let's just go for this. And this is the final version of it. Now, I think I've already thrown it away since it's been like a week since I actually did the original design and print. Now, what you didn't see was that I broke the original fan. Yep, I broke it. Basically, if you can just about see here, eh, if I hover it up, you can kind of see that there's like there's three legs between here that hold together the fan. Well, figures the first design I had was too, let's call it tight or narrow. So when I tried to fit it to the hull, a 
I applied too much pressure and it just broke straight through and well, on to a week of waiting for a new fan. During that week of waiting, I did end up simply enlarging the box, like you didn't really miss much. I just made the box bigger because the fan is 40 by 40 instead of 30 by 30. I had to readjust the screws holes, but that's not a big deal. I ended up cutting away some material here because I figured I could save that space and I added a little small pocket over here for the cable to go through. And I just used a zip tie here to hold it together to the main arm stand, which I'll show you in a bit when it's all like together. But yeah, this fan is actually really neat because unlike the other one, it comes with a speed lever and it's getting dark now which is really annoying and I said speed lever which is totally silly but it's like a dial I can like this is off this would be low this would be medium this would be high and if I get my little lipo going here this is just a DIY lipo set with some old lipo batteries I really need to make more of those. Maybe that's a future project because I still have a couple of them laying around. I really need to make more packs or better packs now that it's like been a good few years since I last made them. But this is able to supply me with five volts. Easy peasy. I can just turn it on. You can see the light inside maybe. The red light. And I can easily recharge it as well. And now when I turn this on to the first mode, you can just about see it do its work and I can try and just lift it up. I want to aim it away from the camera so it doesn't just blow into the microphone. But yeah, it works, you can see it rotate, this is off, this is it on low, now it's on medium and now it's on high, there won't be much difference but it is, I can hear the difference, you might be able to hear it as well. And that's that's it. This thing is really neat. It does its job. Um, it is cool. Don't knock over the camera stand, Basil. It is correctly orientated, so the wind will blow through here and out this way. Uh, I don't know why the grill came with it. The grill just looks nice, okay? And it's just screwed tight with some nuts on the other side. And this I had to fix up as well, like it had to be a little bit thicker as well. But overall, nothing too much changed with the design. Like this is still the very same base structure of the design we worked together on. And it works, and it's nice actually. I really like how it, like, uh, how it looks. And I guess now I just have to see in, in well, practice now how it turns out and I have worked on a couple of things in the meanwhile so you will probably get an update video on this fairly soon not so much an update on this but an update on those projects <laughs> um, fairly soon where I can then just give you feedback on how well this thing performed because I will probably be using it a lot for everything I saw because I hate having lead smoke going up into my eyes or ears ears yes ears I see and smell with my ears no into my nose and mouth I don't like breathing it in and even with a window like literally this way um, the smoke doesn't care about the window so much so I just like to have it smoke go this way but yeah Thank you guys for watching and hanging out, and I really hope you enjoy this design. And in a second, I'll just show you the big stand design. And for those of you curious, this is how it looks on the stand or the rig. I can just have it be on the back, turn it around, fix it to where I need it to be, and just have the rest of the arms. Let me try and look through the camera here. Let's do whatever I need to do below the rig and I can just solder everything and all the smoke that is that should rise up or go into my face while I lean over it can just be sucked up. I can actually just angle this as well. That can go at an angle and it can suck up at an angle as well so that I can just hover my head above here and probably poke my 
as a couple of times on these things. But yeah, that's how it looks from above with the entire rig, how it's attached. And now we're back to this view. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, leave a like. I hate asking for that, but it is just something that is nice to do. And I do very much appreciate it. And if you want the 3D model file for this particular find or the link, if you ask, I'll probably just send you the link or the file. I haven't set up a Thingiverse yet. I should probably do that eventually. And if you are interested in me making these kinds of battery packs, I should probably turn off by now. Um, feel free to ask or like tell me about it. And I'll probably, in the near future, make a video about it. But yeah, so much of that. Have a good time. And see you next time.